Let me know if you're thirsty, okay? Dusty Donovan. <laughs> what a coincidence. Why is that? Well, because I was just having a little chat with your dear friend Molly, whatever her name is. About what? Well, she seems to think you left town. I happen to know that you're still in town consoling a certain beautician over the loss of her fiance. What's your problem, Charlie? You got your money. Leave my friends out of this, all right? You're telling me what to do. You know I can't stand that. I don't want any trouble, that's all I'm saying. Neither do I, Dusty. Neither do I. So here's what you do. You meet me at a place called the Java Underground. We'll sit down. We'll discuss not making trouble for each other. Ten minutes. Do not be late. Why are you still in town? Sit down, Dusty. Before I knock you down, why don't you just give me an answer? What do you want from me? I like it here, okay? It's good people, they have good values. Nice place to raise kids. Sit down. Kids and values, huh? <laughs> they can keep it. What do you want? That's funny, I was just gonna ask you the same thing. Yeah, but I don't answer to you anymore. I want you to stay out of my way. I don't want you to bother my friends. I want to hold on. My running into Mrs. McKinnon was a coincidence. And by the way, the camera doesn't do her justice. She's far more beautiful in person. What were you doing at Rose D'Angelo's beauty shop? That's what I want to know. What can I tell you? She gives a good facial. I'm serious. My skin has been this smooth since ever. <laughs> She's been through a lot, you know? I don't want any trouble for her, Charlie. No, of course you don't, Dusty, because you want her all to yourself. What's that supposed to mean? I know you stayed in town for one reason. Money. Rose D'Angelo is connected to it. You're just looking to get your share. You're out of your mind. Well, that may be, but that doesn't change the facts. you got a new scam going, Dusty. I want in on it. Rose is a friend of mine. I'm not looking to score anything. But what about her former employer? Who's that? Lucinda Walsh, the billionaire and still counting? I understand she and Rose are very close. Nah, they're all just a big part of this extended family nonsense. Uh, this isn't just a family thing. Rose was the vice president of Walsh's company worldwide. She worked there for about a year, took a leave of absence to take care of a sick father. Walsh wanted her back. Rose said she decided to... Open a beauty shop instead. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, it's good research. Hey, I made a few calls. It's got to stop there. 
Rose and Lucinda, no, no, they are off limits. I don't want you near them. Do, do, do you remember a couple years ago, a certain gentleman in Chicago didn't care for your attitude? Who did you call for protection, Dusty? Who made all those gentlemen go away? You, you bet your... And now you want to cut me out of a score? What am I supposed to think about that? There's no score. That's what I'm saying. There's no score. There is now. Because you and I are going to use Rose to squeeze a major payday out of Lucinda Wall. That's the score. That's the deal. And you're going to go along with it, buddy boy, to the letter. You want to go after him? That's it. No, you're on your own. No, no, no. Just wait a minute. Dusty, come on, man. Your little beautician friend is key here. I need her, which means I need you. I can't help you out, Charlie. I'm out. No, no, but wait a minute, Dusty, please don't let this get ugly. Okay? Not now. Not now that your face has finally started to heal. Did you ever see a guy after he's had both kneecaps broken? It's a sad, sad sight, my friend. What? I'm in. I'm going to use Rose to get to the Senate. Good. You won't, won't regret it. Because I'm going to make it worth your while. 50 50 split. I got to be the one who's going to set it up. I don't want you near Rose. You understand? That's fine. Then I'll keep my distance. I'll let you do the groundwork. But if I get a whiff, a whiff of you stalling, those broken kneecaps are going to be the least of your troubles. Okay, what? I'm in.